it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live on Wednesday, January 24th. Ball as well. <clears throat> S&P. It's been a little all over the place today. It's currently up 20. NASDAQ up 156. Russell is down 10. Dow pretty much unchanged. Gold uh, red by about a half percent. Silver up one and a half percent. Notes and bonds slightly red. Then your yield up one percent. Oil up one percent. Natty gas up eight percent. Grains are green. Euro and the pound slightly green. Bitcoin up a little over one percent. VIX has been uh, climbing all day, even when the SPX was going up. Peaked its head above 13, currently at 12.84. Got close to a $4 straddle on each side, so I'm going to be doing my normal size, uh, normal power hour today. How's it going, Steve? Mr. Chad, how are you doing good today? Day. I'm good, man. You having a good day over in the office? What's that? Are you having a good day in the office there? I am. Every day is a good day. Yeah. I had, I had a, a couple people trash my Airbnb, so. Yeah. Yeah. It left today at 11 and I went down there and it was not good. Well, that's no fun. No. How's the uh, TLC trades today? Okay. So um, completely out of one, my AM Iron Condor one booked 1680. And my number two, I'm holding my puts. That's all I have left. And it's going to be a small winner. I'm currently, it's sitting like plus 175 bucks. Um, so if those puts expire worthless, it'll just be 175 bucks. Or if we get some down movement, maybe I'll get some value out of them. I am in um, my lunchtime, number one. I've gotten out of 20 and 40%. And I have a power hour, number one, I entered about 15 minutes ago that it's kind of testing the upside. And so I would put another one on maybe here if it gets goes to the upside a little bit more. I'd maybe look at like the 85, 48, 85 straddle. But I'm going to wait here just a minute. I got three of 10 contracts left on lunchtime number one. So... I can either just close those three out when I hit my next profit target, or I could just close a couple out. I'm getting close to the profit target, so I might just close them all out. And that would open up a, open up a strike for me because, um, as you know, I don't, I'm not overlapping strikes. So I'm going to try to close those three out at my at 60%. My NTT was doing well this morning, and then I, I've been looking for an area or time to kind of start increasing my size. Well, I did that right at the wrong time today, so I'm down a few K on mine. Um, yeah, so right here I started increasing and in bigger size here and here, and both those got stopped out without hitting a profit target. So good timing, good timing on my my part. Uh, my bots just did two trades this morning. One was the AM 
morning 70 minute trade that booked 18% and my DKS hit 40%. Also took a winning futures trade out of oil for about fourteen hundred. Yeah, Came I just back. got filled on the forty eight eighty five straddle. Just so everybody knows, thirty points wide. So my tranche one will come in here in about a minute and a half. Looks like it's going to be the eighty five straddle. Got those seven twenty five. I may, I may go inverted here if we're in between strikes. Now it looks like it may be the eighty straddle. Yeah, it's coming down. Price coming down, down to eighty. So my OCO is filled at 725 would be 580 is my profit target and four is my trailing stop. All right, tranche one should be coming in now and it looks like it'll be the 80 straddle. Filled at 750. Seven fifty. So I'll reduce my stop at four fifty. So I saw the Bank of Canada came out and held their rates steady. I don't know if that had anything to do with the little movement here, but. Got Tesla earnings after the bell. Tesla and IBM. Chad, I can't believe you dumped those Netflix calls. Like I told you to hold oh those. God. Dude, you're like, <laughs> you're going to get hit by that uh, ball crush. <laughs> oh, man. I've never done that before. I've never held something on an earnings. I was like, you know, I've heard like they're gonna they're blowing it out of the water. I heard that on the business station today. It's like let me just buy one call just for the fun of it. <laughs> no, it's off its highs. It was up above five sixty. It's down to five fifty now. AMD up six percent. Nvidia up three and a half. Baidu. Up again. Meta up almost 2%. New all-time high in Meta. I was listening to sports radio today and they were complaining about their 401ks being so low. And I'm thinking, dude, we're like at all-time highs. Yeah, they must be sitting in cash or something. I'm like, what the? <laughs> 75, uh, so Ryan, 75 would, be, would not be inverted, Krish. That's a straddle. 
Ryan, you're talking about 8580 Iron Condor? Is that what you're talking about? I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what Ryan's questions regarding. So you got in, Chad. You got into 85. Now prices drop. So he's wondering if he should do 80 oh. or 85. But guys, it's it's not about it's not about copying the same numbers that he got in. It's about learning the process. And yeah, so it depends what you currently have on too. Like if you have nothing on, then yes. So I trade this time of day based on what I currently have on. I had already had a power hour number one on and it had wrote, it was testing one side. So I centered the, my second one, which was the 85s. So if you had nothing on, like if, if, if you're someone that has nothing on right now, then like the 80 75s or no, 80 straddle would be good. I would do the 80 straddle if I had nothing on. But because it's relative to what you've got already on, it's hard to answer that question. Sectors today, SMH leading the way higher, up over 2% semiconductors. Regional banks strong, energy strong, financials green, retail red, real estate red. I did just get filled a few minutes ago also on my overnight iron condor. That was on the uh, January 26th expiration. Shorts are 4860 and 4905. Yeah, Maro, it's on the it's on the sheet. SPX, of course, hit a new all-time high today, 4903.68. Starting to get a little decay coming in on tranche one. Yep. Get a little bounce. But on a one, two double calendar this morning, it is down a few percent <clears throat> currently.
Oh yeah, I put on a uh, half size Rick this morning, and that one's not doing so hot. Uh, let's see, right here. We need to get below seventy two to get out of the valley. Feb 2, time flies, still a little bit underwater. That'll be one that we hold up until 1 DTE, it looks like. Put on a new time fly today in the Feb 9, Feb 12 cycle. It's pretty close to where I put it on. MES. On both of these, I was getting close to rolling up the puts and price pulled back. Still have one duck left. I was trying to get filled at 505. Yeah, you're not going to get filled yet on that one. Close for beak profit. Hasn't been on long enough. See, Apple has earnings on February 1st. It's a few bucks under all-time highs. They just released their, uh, what do you call it? Their mask thingy. They don't want you calling it a virtual reality headset. They want you to call it something else. Spatial computing is what you got to call it. It's only 3500 bucks. You can go test that at your test drive that at your local Genius Bar. Tim Weiss is calling out SPX saying it doesn't have it doesn't have it to the downside. Yes, that is the technical technical term, Dick K. The official. <laughs> SPX currently at forty eight eighty three. Crunch number two will come in in about four minutes. And looks like it might be the 85 straddle if we hold here, push up a little bit.
or if we're in between, it could be five wide. Yes, Kelvin, I told you. I told you my predictions are dead on, my friend. The upside expected move for SPX for the year. It's about 5,530-ish. So we got a ways to go. Popped above 4,900, 4,903. Trunch one up about 8% so far. And if we hold around 80, it'll be another 80 straddle for Tranche 2 coming in here in a couple minutes. Getting down to 78 now. Tranche two will fire, start to fire at 13 minutes and 30 seconds. So one minute. It's going to be close between the 80 straddle or the 80 75 strangle. And bot should start firing about now. Looks like it might be the 8075. Eighty seventy-five strangle filled at four eighty. So five wide but lower low premium. I'll reduce my stop on tranche two at two ninety. And SPX is Heading down. VIX back up above 13.
SPX new low of day. Expected move to the downside is right around 48.71. Tranche one's trading at 9.40, stops at 11.50. Tranche two is trading at six ten, stops at seven eighty. Well, my Rick just pushed out of the valley. Down to the lower expected move for the day. Both tranche and one and two are about two bucks away from getting stopped. So they would appreciate a little bounce here. Yep, that's exactly what it is, Tom. So when you're looking at the option chain, it's the price here of the Calls and the price here, the puts. So $4 on each side for tranche one, $2 on each, or $3 on each side for tranche two. Uh, what are you referencing, Anil? Close what? Oh, the six seven. No, that's not part of my plan. SPX pushing a little bit below the lower expected move. Tranche two is trading at six fifty, stops at seven eighty. Maybe Tesla will fall out of bed after the bell. Can we get some of that? Can we get a 50% drop in Tesla after the bell? That would help. Let's 
SPX down to 48.70. Tranche two is trading at 680, stops at 780. Tranche one is trading at 1040, stops at 1150. Getting some value out of some puts here. Would you would you sell them for? You talking to me, Steve? Yep. Uh what, my Tesla? No, your puts. Oh, um, I did let's see my power hour trades. One was uh, 20 cents and one was 15. Gotcha. 4840 and 4855 puts. S&P is up five from yesterday's close. Russell down almost 1%. I think I might hold these two Tesla puts and just see what happens. Crunch one and two still hanging on by about a buck each. to get back above 75. Tranche three will be coming in here in a couple minutes. Tranche three will fire at 24.30. So here in about 90 seconds. All right. I got filled on the 4875 straddle 20 points wide for my number three. Fill it 710. Getting a little pause near the expected move area. Tranche two about to come in. Looks like it'll be five wide with the 75 70s. Get a little bounce. Build at 585 for tranche three. 
That's on the, yeah, 70 puts, 75 calls, two to one. Tranche two back in the green, tranche one, just slightly red now. I mean, 75, eight, 75 and 80 is my sweet spot. Closer to 80. So I didn't take this NTT trade today because I planned on trading my normal power hour, but getting in at uh, 135, that would still be good. Most definitely would have booked 20% at this point. Use a little bounce, just a little one. Yeah, we got a little bounce. Now it's coming back, back down. Back down to loads of day. Tranche one is trading at 1050, stops at 1150. Tranche two is trading at 665, stops at 780. Rick is green, but not hitting profit target yet. Trading at 1460. My profit target's at 1575. Mm. Should actually be at 1555 for 30%. New low of day. Tranche one and two are getting close to danger. My Tesla puts are sitting at the 65 Delta. Buying some earnings puts? So I bought I bought puts today when Tesla was at highs of day. So I'm up like 
I bought four. I've cut two. So I'm up 1100 bucks and have two left. Three eighty million to the sell side, early indication. Uh, Yoda, uh, there's there's quite a few people who who trade zero DTE with with Tasty. There's just um, some of the functionality that Toss has they don't have. Like, uh, I, and I don't trade on Tasty, so I'm probably not the best to answer this. But um, if anyone else on Tasty wants to chime in, I think um, is it they don't have trailing stops. Is that right? I I can't even remember what the issues were. Yeah, no trailing stops. Do they have an analyze tab that works yet? <laughs> no, but supposedly that's coming. I heard that. They like finally they have finally acknowledged that it's dog shit, which is <laughs> I heard that such a long time ago. All right, getting a little bounce. A little bouncy bounce. Was there an issue with uh, like bracket orders, like having a stop and a limit profit target at the same time or something like that? Oh, they do have OCO now. Okay. Tom doesn't use it. It doesn't make the platform usually. You think he'd use an analyze tab? He comes from the pit days. Yeah. So it just, just uses the option chain basically. I mean, all he all he does is sell strangles all day anyway. So he doesn't I know. Really need it. Do they still have that like tasty trade show and stuff they do? Mm-hmm. All right, let's get back above 75, kids. Oh yeah. You likey. Tranche two is green. Tranche one is trying to get green. Tranche three is up 15%. 4875 is a pinhead for me. Punch two just bounced up twenty percent on that Crazy. little bounce. I tried watching them for a while, but it just didn't do me any good. Hit twenty percent target on power hour number three. Yeah, I like both those guys. I've had I've had Tom on a couple times uh, for webinars back in the day, and they've just I mean they've done just tremendous things for the just option trading in general, awareness and education and stuff like that. So I've I have nothing bad to say, but it's just nah. kind of frustrating. I mean they you know their devs are the same guys who built Toss, and so I had I had high expectations for Tasty's platform, and it just yep. Never got there. Back before COVID, I talked to a few of them at that uh, Traders Expo in New York. Mm -hmm. Nice guys.
all three tranches are green. I could use a little bit more push up. Just closed out power hour number one, 60% profit. Nice. So that's a $2,040 winner, power hour number one. Have you gotten stopped without hitting 20% today? Uh, yes, on my power hour number two. That's the only time. And then I sold my puts for 25 cents, so it's a twelve fifty loser. So probably that's a good thing for me to tell everybody and kind of talk about why I do this. Um, why I use just the $4. I don't go above $4. So my my power hour number two got filled at $7.25. Okay. So if I would have used the 75% trailing stop, let's see, that would have been... That would have been a 545 trailing stop. But I use I don't go any higher than four on power hour. So it stopped me out a little quicker, made the loss a little less. Nice. Just my just my risk management. Uh Kelvin, it should be I posted I posted the uh the trade. Tranche two's at 34%, currently trading at 305. Once it gets down to 290, I'll reduce my stop on tranche two. So I'm going to be, it's going to be a, let's see, five and one day for me. No. Four and one. No. I did do six trades because I took three power hours. So it'll be a five and one day. Five winners, one loser. One more little push up and my tranche two should get to One's at 22 percent, trunch two's at 39 percent, trunch three's at 27. Yeah, Ken, I think he said he had five winners, one loser, so six. Yep. 
I forgot right. that I did three for power. Reducing my stop on tranche two. My second one got stopped really quick, so I kind of forgot about it. Still 380 million on the market on close to the sell side. All right, I'll just come, come down just a little bit here now. Don't get. Oh, I got five contracts left to power hour three, and that's it. Tranche one is the 80 straddle, so it's going to get need to get up to closer to 80 for that one to get reduced. So my tranche one gets down to 450. I would re reduce my stop to three bucks. So that would put it at 750. My opening credit was exactly 750. So I'm just going to do five cents below the open. We get there. You got a prediction on Tesla? Do I have a prediction on Tesla? Yeah. I mean, my heart wants it to go lower. Does that count? Absolutely. I want. I want to know what your heart is. Dick K saying gap up for Tesla. That's because he's loaded up on Tesla shares or calls. <laughs> nice job, Michael. I was wondering what this chart was. This is TLSA, not TSLA. I'm going to hold my two puts no matter what. I mean, because <laughs> the risk doesn't really, not that big of a deal. All right. Tranche one's getting reduced. That's a, uh, it's a pretty quick stop reduction for a straddle in power hour. I'm down a little bit. So what do I think Tesla's going to do? I mean, I'm up, I'm up a thousand bucks on it right now. So the most I could lose would be another uh, nineteen hundred, which would net me at minus nine hundred bucks. So I'm just how many puts them. do you have? Just two left. I started with four, but I've scaled out. So just two the left. The expected move is 15 bucks. Okay. So you can kind of get in, get a gauge of where that would put your put, puts, either if it stayed within the expected move up or down, can you kind of gauge what, what that would do? So man, down to about one, down to about 193, that would be some, yeah, that would be over, 
that'd be 3,300 bucks if it goes up. Let's roll 15. the dice, Chad. Yesterday, I gave you the wrong advice to close it out. Today, I'm just telling you to roll the dice. I'm rolling it, man. $173 million to the sell side is the next early indication. Final number in five minutes. Okay, it's coming down a little bit. I got to hit 40% of my number three. Haven't done that yet. Getting close to 40%. There's my remaining straddle. And just for fun, it's my remaining Tesla. Just keep in mind your profit or loss is going to be closer to that teal expiration line after the after the crush. You crush, yeah, yep. The Wednesday 2-5, I haven't been doing that partly because I've just been kind of forgetting about it. All right, Michael, love it when 40% hits in power hour. Actually, speaking of which, I'm about pin head right now, pin high. Hanging around 75. That's my pin. That's far enough. I'm going to pass on the two five because I've got, oh, I got stopped out of tranche one. Yeah. And that little flush. I did not hit my 40%. I was like 10 cents from it. <clears throat> So I lost four percent on tranche one minus three hundred bucks after after I reduced stop. Oh boy, it's coming down. Back down to the near lows of day. Man, I didn't hit my forty percent. Darn it! Tranche two is close to getting stopped. Stopped on tranche two. Still in tranche three. 
which is at the 70, 75 strikes. Four billion sell side. I'm going to short some futures. Darn it, man. It's a dime away from hitting 40%. Or bill to the sell side. So let's see if we get some more downside action here. Tranche three is still barely green. My Rick just hit. Nice. Man, my power hour two is going to get stopped. Or three, I mean. I've got one Rick runner left. The kid does have calls. I'm on back up, buddy. Hanging on. It's got the 70 puts. Looks like we got that flush in anticipation of the uh, MOC number. We'll see if we get any follow through here. Michael's savage. 20, 40, 60, and out. You out of everything, Michael? Had to be a nice green day, right? So I'm short the S and P futures at forty eight ninety nine. All right, it's coming up a little bit. I need to hit my 40%. Nice, Michael. Nice, Michael Todd. That's two really nice green days in a row, right? Three, oh yeah. What about going back to last week? You don't have many red days either, Michael. VIX back above 13. Got a shout, give a little shout out to Rick here. All right, I'm up 1,200 on my S&P futures. Oh. Oh. Man. Got an order at 48.95 to close 6 of 10. Stopped out of my number two. So never booked 40%. I didn't have time to search for a new one, Ken. I had to just get it out there. I was preoccupied with my other trades. Sorry, I'll I'll do better next time for you. Tranche threes hovering around break even. 
I missed getting out of six, t- six of 10 of my futures by a tick, stopped at 48.95. My order's at 48, or stopped at 48.95.25. My order's at 48.95. Now it's bouncing. Mm. Missed it. Still five minutes to go. I'm out of everything. Look at that. Had my order at 48.95. It came down to 48.95.25. Or bounced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bounced. It would have probably hit my 40%. Stopped me out. And that's the one thing about lowering your stops is sometimes you do get stopped and then it'll bounce like that, but it's all right. So tranche three, I'm down to five minutes. I think we're going to continue lower here. I'm just going to close my tranche three at 66%. So 58.90 for me. Building tranche three at 205. All right. Now I'm ready for a big flush to close. So tranche three, I made 2300. And then between tranche one and two, I lost 500. So green power hour. Let's see if my MOC trade will print for me. I think this is the first MOC trade I've had the opportunity to trade since I put out the little video of how I was going to trade it. Bigger than $3 billion. Little lower. Yeah, I'm trading ES. I went short 10 ES contracts. Trying to get out of six at 48.95. We can get one more little push down. I'm going to get out of six. All right, closed out six of 10. One minute. I'm going to let my last Rick expire. One more flush into the close. I could hold these until... Uh, through the Tesla announcement too, if I wanted to be, if I wanted to get crazy. Yeah, 
There's the bell. SPX closed at 48.68. Tesla's earnings should come out in about 10 minutes. All right, my friends. Pulled out a green power hour, green MOC trade. My NTTs were red, but uh, green day overall. All right, all have a good night. Uh, as far as live stream goes, tomorrow's the 25th. So I'll be streaming live in the morning. Chad, uh, were you planning to join tomorrow morning? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. So we'll do uh, zero DTE in the morning and then be back for power hour tomorrow. All right, all have a good night. Take care. Later, everyone. Peace.